Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel, Septera 18. Um, if you don't already know, I am part of the creative uh, design team for Rosie's Studio. Uh, if you don't know who they are, I will link down below their uh, Instagram as well as their online store. They have the most beautiful paper collections uh, and they're coordinating die cuts, stickers. Uh, they also have uh, uh, metal cutting dies. Their, their papers are just so pretty. Um, you need to have a look at their online store and have a look at their gorgeous collections. And I have here in front of me one of the collections that I have chosen to use as a part of the, the design team for Rosie's Studio. And I have this really easy, quick make, uh, six by six uh, tutorial project idea for you. It is really cute, really simple. Um, I like making quick projects and uh, this one here is a really quick one. It's a great beginner project as well and you don't need a scoreboard or any measuring to make this really sweet little uh, pocket idea. So I am part of the design team uh, for them for the next few months. So I've got a few um, projects that I've, I've got ready to share with you as well and this one here is one of them and i'm in the middle of making a couple more other ones as well as packing my etsy orders and other projects of my own to share with you so i've got a ton of a ton of uh, fun things to share with you here on my channel and lots of listings for my etsy store as well but these little cute um, pocket ids are just so sweet um, i did a lot of decorating and embellishing using the coordinating die cuts um, I did do a craft haul in my last video uh, with all of the Rosie Studios um, collection that I'm using. And it's, this one here is called the Bayfair uh, Paper Collection. So if you want to have a look at the craft haul with all of the um, extra coordinating um, pieces that come with the paper pack, you can um, look at that video. I'll put that link down below for you. But there are two packs of these die cuts that come with the Bayfair Collection. And there are a ton in the pack. So this one here has a lot of lovely florals and other um, other images that coordinate with the papers. And then there is another one here with some banner strips and a word quotes and just a ton, a ton of them. And it, it makes it so much easier when you want to embellish your projects if you coordinate your um, papers with the uh, die cuts and the stickers. Um, I see if I've got. I'll just bring that over just quickly. Um, I haven't got it all here on me, but these are just some of the other um, coordinating um, embellishments and ephemera pieces and stickers that come with it. But let me just show you um, the project. So this is the 6x6 paper pad that I used, and these are two of the projects that I um, made. So let me show you how adorable these little pockets are. Uh, so this one here is one that I made with a closure with some uh, crochet string and um, it just opens up this way and I just punched out one of the little um, using my heart punch from one of the papers from the 6x6 paper pad and I just punched a hole and threw that through the crochet string <clears throat> and then I did some embellishing here with uh, some of the die cuts and there was also this lovely word um, quote or the meaning for the word loveliness and I just uh, glued that to the back of um, some gold glitter cardstock and then there was this really cute enamel dot with a little bird in the sticker pack so I just stuck that on the corner so that actually is part of the uh, note notebook that's at the back here which i'll show you in a second and then i did also embellish the closure here with some more of the uh ephemera pieces so it opens up like that with a pocket here in the front which was just a perfect size to add all these ephemera pieces that was in the pack so you could um, add a few of these into the front pocket you can add a gift card in here uh, a note card anything you like so it's a nice pocket it's nice and long and there is a nice deep um, uh, pocket here for what you like to add in there then at the back is another top loading pocket so there is a pocket here at the back <clears throat> and then there's that pocket here in the front 
I made a note booklet and that was that little uh, swing tag that I put in the front and then there were um, a couple of holes here where I placed a torn cotton fabric to decorate the booklet. I just used um, printing paper to create the pages. So it's just another little a notebook for journaling or write a shopping list or just another way to gift a little gift inside one of these pockets to a teacher, a crafty friend. You could also have these as a little pack for craft fairs and then you can add your own little extra bits and pieces in here that they can use to add into the note booklet. So that's the first one. So this one has that closure. This one here is uh, done the same way. I just did the closure a little bit different. Uh, I did some more embellishing here in the front of the pocket with these lovely little uh, dragonflies in in the gold, um, like it's on gold uh, paper. And then I just fold the wings up and just glued the center part. And then there was the puffy sticker. I placed that on the front of the tab. And it's part of the tag at the back. So this one here, I just used the closure by wrapping around the crochet string just around the closure flap instead of having it this way. Just so you can see the two different ways you could um, do it the way you may want to um, make your closure. And then there was another little ephemera piece here. And I just thread that through the string. And I just open this up. I did the closure so that if you have anything tall or whatever you like in here, it just keeps everything in place inside the pocket so um, it doesn't fall out. And this is the same, has the same kind of pocket, some more ephemeral pieces inside. This is a lovely one. I like that one and I like this. So that was, um, oh, that's the pocket for this, for these ephemeral pieces or whatever you want to add into this pocket. You could even add a tea bag in here. You could add some tea bags if you have a, a friend that likes tea. And then there is a pocket here at the back. It's that same kind of pocket. And this is um, a tag that I made. And the tag I made uh, from one of the packaging, which is uh, similar to this packaging from um, the die cuts. I think it was the die cuts or the stickers. I can't remember. And I thought it was just a lovely paper to use. So I'm just, I'll just show you. So I haven't actually opened this one. So when you take out your embellishments, um, if you get the pack, this is the paper. And then I just cut it to size to make it into a tag. <coughs> Excuse me. That's from another project. And then I just angle cut the corners to create a tag shape embellish the uh, front of it with some more of their ephemera pieces and they had one of these in there which I thought was perfect to fit on the front of the tag and then I made a uh, fabric cluster and then placed a brad through all three so then that sort of just swings and it also just makes a great decoration to the front if I just place it like that on the front so it's just a, a lovely, cute little pocket. I think these are just a cute little way to package of some fun goodies for uh, as a gift. So I'm going to show you how quickly it is to make one of these. So I'm just going to grab a paper from the 6x6 paper pad. I might use the blue one. I like the blue one. I, haven't, I don't often use blue in my projects. So I thought this would be nice to use the blue one. And you do get two, um, two pages to, um, in the paper pad, two of each. So I'm just going to rip the last page out of here. I'll just go that way. So I've got my 6x6 six six paper. So it is a great project for single-sided papers as well. So if you, even if you have a 12 by 12 size single-sided paper, you can make four of these. And then you can have them, you know, <coughs> as a, um, as a to keep aside for gifts. Uh, so I've got my 6x6 uh, six six paper. And all we're going to do is just, it's an easy fold um, paper. So we're going to fold um, the left side over. 
and you want to fold it leaving about um, a half an inch is that half an inch or a quarter of an inch about that much so you want to leave that much out and then you're going to open this up and then you're going to fold the bottom up about just under two inches maybe one and three quarter of an inch so about that much just a bit over like half um, an inch and that will be the depth of your pocket in the front then you're going to open that up we're going to fold this back over again and we're going to make a cut and you're just going to cut along the edge following the edge of the of this paper and you want to stop at that crease that you made that fold so just cut as close to the edge up to that crease and then I'm just going to angle cut a little bit down towards that crease just a little bit just to where we made that cut so that's how you want to make that then we're going to open this up I'm going to corner around this um, right corner you don't have to do that but I'm going to corner around that one and we're going to corner around this bottom one as well so now you've got those two corners rounded off this little piece here we're going to remove this piece so we're going to cut across there and cut down there so let me just I'm just going to cut up so we'll fold that back over for now with this piece here we're going to create a, a little fold the part that I cut, I'm going to use that part as the folded part because it's not as nice and level and straight as the other side. I'm just going to fold that in just a tiny bit. This is going to create the little hinge for that top closure. And then I'm going to corner around these two uh, bottom corners. I'm going to add some glue along the um, inside just below the fold line try not to go right up to the fold line just sort of below it and we are going to place that on the inside of the uh, front part that we made the fold so you want to have the fold just sitting above the edge it's just so that your closure can open and close nicely and if your paper doesn't sort of line up you know along the edge you can just tidy that up if you like so we've got that glue so that is your closure and then this part here um, what we're going to do next is if you want to um, create the closure like I have here you want to punch your hole down the bottom here first before we uh, glue the pocket in and we're going to punch a hole here but do this one first for now and then what you're going to do is you're going to grab this side we're going to fold that in and just sort of wrap it to the front just like that And then this one here that's going to get folded to the front like that now if your paper catches like mine does it's sort of catching so it's a bit warped it just means this part isn't trimmed properly so i'm just going to trim that off just a little bit more just to make it easier for me to close that front pocket and then it'll give me a nice flat um pocket i'll fold that back in and then i can fold that back up that's all so that is how the front pocket will look and then you punched your hole here if you decide you want to do it without it and just wrap the part like that you just leave it as is you don't need to make any holes and then that part will get closed down and so then once you punch that hole here you can uh, line to get it uh, at the same center just and then punch a hole onto this one 
and punch a hole there and punch a hole here now because this paper is not um heavyweight it is sort of light to medium weight i did add i punched out a circle um shape using a circle punch of another cardstock paper or this one is a gold glitter cardstock and i glued that to the front here and then punched the hole just to make it more thicker so that it doesn't tear the paper so i did punch a couple of circle shapes to the uh, to the top and the bottom and then punch the um and glue that down and then punch the holes through just so your paper doesn't tear so what we'll do now i'm just going to glue it along here and along here and that will give me my front pocket and then at the back you'll have that pocket and you've got your front pocket so that was just a nice quick easy fold uh, pocket id for you using a single six by six paper no tools required no measuring no scoreboard nice and quick um, and then you can just have fun embellishing your pocket with all of your embellishments or grab yourself the bayfair uh, six by six paper pad and they're coordinating die cuts um, and then you can make one of these sweet pockets and i just think these are just so cute and the papers are just so pretty that they just look um they just look really well to make for these so i hope you um enjoyed this uh, easy tutorial using the um Bayfair collection i have a couple more videos to share with you of some more projects that i've made using um, the same papers um, so I hope you will come back and join me with those um, videos when they when I have them ready for you so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all soon bye for now